please do me a favor. Stay focused. Stay humble. And understand you cannot celebrate. And I'm all for, I love to see people doing good in life. I love to see people doing better now than where they started. But don't throw your hands up celebrating the win until you actually have won, meaning you have generational wealth. You ever see those hilarious video outtakes where, you know, like let's say track and field where there's a runner in a race and he's way ahead of the competition and he's a few feet away from the finish line and he starts throwing his hands up and trotting because he's almost there. But somewhere along the line, those dudes behind him didn't get the memo and they sprinting, sprinting, sprinting because they understand the race is not over until it's over. And then they pass him and he's looking around like, yo, what happened? Like that, that real like, que pasa, look, what happened? Or we've all seen those football clips where, you know, somebody is just blowing past the competition and they're running down the field and they got that ball, they look around and nobody's there and they start that football dance where they, you know, got their knees up way high and out of nowhere somebody come, boom, damn they take their whole back off. You just lost the game for your team because you started celebrating before you got the win. Wait until you get the win until you celebrate. Now, I've worked with countless artists, countless artists. And when you meet them with before they pop and before the world knows their name, they're always super humble and they'll all tell you the same story. You know, I just want to be the next Michael Jackson. I want to be the next Beyonce. I want to be the next Jay-Z. You know, I just want to work. I want to travel the world and make hits. Okay, then they get signed, they get their little events. Now money's coming in, they got that chain around their neck, they're getting show money, whereas before you had to wait online at the clubs, soon as you walk up, bouncers look like, oh, come on in, come on, who, who you got with you? You go right through <laughs> VIP and you going up and you sitting there and you popping bottles with your crew. But somewhere along the line, you forgot your day job. You're supposed to make hits. And for so many of them, after they get that first hit, they become the one hit wonders. Because while they were celebrating and really enjoying the fruits of that one hit that they had, it came and it left and they had no more to go with it. And then they're back on the block. Please understand, you cannot celebrate until you get the win. And what I mean by get the win is, is unless you have generational money in your bank account, your kids, kids, kids are going to eat off of what you have in your bank account right now, keep your head low, stay focused, stay humble. Stay focused on the grind. This is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Just because you caught a lick and you got a few dollars in your box, in your bank account, I don't care if it's a million dollars sitting in that bank account, five million dollars sitting in that bank account. If there's no more money coming in, the faucet is turned off, what do you think happens to that five million sitting in your bank account? You got mortgages, you got baby mamas, you got car payments, you got IRS, so forth and so on, and before you, you look at it and like, what happened to my money? Now, whereas you were the most popular person in the world, everybody's gone, except for Uncle Sam. Sports Illustrated, Sports Illustrated, this is not my statistic, Sports, look it up yourself, Sports Illustrated says 78% of all NFL players are broke within two years of leaving the league. That is, it's, it's disgusting. That's astronomical, that statistic. 60% of all NBA players are broke after five years of leaving the league. Why? Because people think that this money is going to last forever and it doesn't. This is what money is like. 
Hold your hands up like this and tell somebody to try to pour a gallon of water into your hands. It will fall through your fingers. That's what money is like. It is so important that you do not start celebrating before you get that lifetime win. Meaning, you're out there, you're on the gram, you're fronting, you're showing everybody I got it like that, right? But when the money is not coming in no more, you are left with all of those bills. It's just better to keep your head low. Humility. Stay focused. You don't want to become a prisoner to an image you have created on the gram. I've seen it once, I've seen it a million times where people are, you know, that every time you see them on the gram, they're talking about how much they got and how well they're doing. And then when the money goes, they can't just turn that off. They gotta live up to that image. Now, they're digging themselves deeper in debt every day because they're trying to hold on to an image that they created. Whereas if they would've just stayed humble, stayed focused on the goal, which is generational wealth, you would've never had to keep digging yourself into a deeper hole because of what people now think because you don't have it like you used to. Please do me a favor, stay focused, stay humble, and understand you cannot celebrate. And I'm all for, I love to see people doing good in life. I love to see people doing better now than where they started. But don't throw your hands up celebrating the win until you actually have won, meaning you have generational wealth. Peace and love make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all in the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.